fans and welcome to uh, the girls varsity Hello. Hello. basketball Hello. match. Hi, and welcome to our annual Coaches for Cancer event. To the Sean Olivia, and we're going to have the boys Boston basketball coach here at Western. We come together tonight as one community, united in the fight to cure cancer. Let's start with a round of applause for student artist Gianna Burns. <laughs> Aren't the t-shirts great? They are on sale in the lobby for ten dollars. Also, let's thank our sponsors: North Coast Jar and Implant Center and RDP Sports Plus. Thank you. In Westlake Haven Athletic Boosters, they are donating a percentage of the concession sales tonight. Hope you came hungry. Why are we here? Since 1993, high school and college coaches have raised more than $85 million to support the American Cancer Society fight against cancer. We are here tonight to continue that effort and have earmarked this year's funds for local cancer research. Can everyone please sit down? I want to show you something. Now, stand up if you are currently battling cancer or are a cancer survivor. Congratulations, we're so happy to have you here. Please remain standing. Stand up if you, are, if you have lost a family member to cancer. Stay standing. Stand up if you have lost a friend to cancer. Stay standing. Stand up if you have lost a family member or friend who is currently fighting cancer. If you have a friend or family member, stay standing. Stand up if you have ever been a, a caregiver for someone fighting cancer. Stay standing. Stand up if you have ever known someone fighting cancer. Stay standing. Look around. There's probably hardly anyone standing. Or see it. Cancer has touched us all. This year, all funds raised will be earmarked for local cancer research. While there are many high profile stories in the news, such as Craig Sager, Stuart Scott, and Jim Balvano, Cancer has hit us right here in Westlake again. I was diagnosed with prostate cancer a couple months ago. I am bad now. But it is a team effort with my family, my doctors, and my athletes. So I ask you, let's come together to put an end to this terrible disease. Together, we are shooting for a cure so that more people celebrate more birthdays more graduations and more anniversaries. Volunteers are circulating. They are selling 50-50 tickets and also accepting donations. I am personally making the first challenge donation of $100 to this important cause. Thanks. 
WHBS bringing you the girls varsity basketball game. We're starting with the tip off, number 22 for Westlake. There, right Westlake got the ball from the tip off. Maddie Fleming now has the ball. He's passing it, keeping it on the outside. That's number three. They're just passing around the ring right now. Maddie out. Number 13, the ball. Like Westlake making the move, makes the shot, misses. Number three, Mike Mike Burns. Because he's back again. I don't think he makes it. He's got three points within the first minute of the game. Are you Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I just need to hear you. That's the thing. Ball goes out of bounds, I believe. North. North Oakland has the possession now. Taking it in. Bounce pass, they take the shot, miss. Number 33, Meg Hamp, flowing past the ball to number 22, who gets the ball to number 40. Who in turn passes it to number 21. And then number 40, shoot him, and makes three points to watch that. So. Just to recap, Westlake has six points to, to zero points from the top. Maddie Fleming had the foul, and now North Oak Sets getting their uh, free throws. That's the word. <laughs> oh. Make one. Very nice. Westlake. Uh, number, number 25. Number 25, Sarah Belfort just made two points for an ultra fall because that's how it's lost. Now Westlake 21, but the ball's about to number three.
Westlake drops the ball, and then North Benson recovers it. All right now, in the court, foul is called. Thing again with a foul, so Number that's going to take more three throws. I'm going to change the Without missing the second free throw, as much like takes it back down to their side. Ooh. Players fall, the ball is out of bounds. Uh, catch it, looks like North Homestead gets possession. Looks like number five is going to be taking it in. Number 12, passing it to... Number 13, no. Uh, I got to 22. And Jean. number 12, I'm going to pause. Shoot the ball. Just barely, though. Almost got it. Let's talk! Keep talking, Blue! That's like, misses. Yeah, so. yeah number 21, you must say, take that blue. Twenty makes the three-point shot, misses. And Westlake recovers it. Out on Westlake again. Number twenty-five will be taking in for North Homestead. Looks like they'll pass, she'll pass to twenty. Take it back down to Westlake side. Number 22 goes for three throw, or three point. Oh boy. Misses. I hope that keeps possession of the ball though. Oh. Another shot made by North Homestead. Misses as Westlake like, takes it back down to North Homestead's ring. No, that's not what it's called. I'm going to Gina mix it up and miss that two point line. Two point line or one point line? <laughs> Westlake's calling a timeout as I'm going to try to adjust the camera. Alright, so I like, kind of have to need to hear you, which I can't. I'm thinking. I can hear you from down here. So maybe. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. I'll try to speak up here. Yeah. Back in from timeout. Looks like has a possession of the ball and they're in North Home Test Court. Number 22. Got in for it. And was like now has a total of eight points compared to a, to a total of six points from North from Homestead Falls. Doing some passing. 
Take it out. Oh. Miss up the shot. Oh, but they get the rebound. Now, right now, the game is tied with the first quarter halfway down. I mean, yeah, first quarter. We're currently 8 to 8. All tied up as the ball is in North Orange's court. Number 12 just made that point, bringing West Lake up. And number 13 attempting to score, attempting to make the basketball win. Number 33 with the ball, passes it to number 12, who then has it to number 14, who attempts to make the basketball We have another foul on North Homestead, I believe. Uh, North Hope says number 13 has the foul. Looks like number 14 is going to be taking the free throw for Westlake. See how she does. First one made for Westlake. Abby Carrington for Westlake making her second free throw. This is the second, leaving Westlake 11 to 8. Have a little hustle on the field. Looks like Foul's gonna get called on Westlake for that. Oh, North Hope said. I don't know what that call is gonna be. But North Home said there was a penalty on Westlake, so North Home said it's going to get the free throw. So number 22, Shannon Carr, makes the free throw for Gauntlet Falls and But oh, Westlake still has a still has a lead of two points. So let's see if they can keep that lead. <laughs> Makes her second shot, making it 11 to 10. What's like up? What's like passing around the outside? See who's gonna make the shot, or if they're gonna go in with it. Well, number 21 makes the three point, misses. North Olmstead recovers the ball. Number 21 for North Olmstead makes the three point. Taking North Olmstead up 13 to 11. Now number 14 with the ball, passing it, passing it to number 40. And quickly loses the ball due to Jones said Paul's in flying. Number 25 is making the basket and getting the points. So it was less than a minute in the first quarter. Just to recap, Westlake at 11 points and Jones said Paul's at 15. With a lead of four. It's like number 12 took a shot and missed. And now North Homestead has the ball. Passing it down. Oh, they're going to keep it on the outside. Wait for the chance to go and get more points. Number 25 with the ball. Homestead falls. Number 25 going in, but passes it back outside. 22 misses the three point shot. And number 21 for Westlake quickly regains the ball. Like the three-point misses. Now it's number 40 for Wesley. That's the clock runs out. That's it for the first quarter with Wesley.
Celtic 11 in. Okay, okay. 50, 50 rapids, raffle tickets, and the benefits will be in the church. Right. The second quarter is our time, Lady Demons. Time to defend the house. Let's go, Demons! All right, we're coming back into the second quarter. Uh, North Home set up 15 to 11. Number three to three, going to take it in from that goal. And looks like with the ball, soon passes it. Number 33. Number 33, passes to 14. Oh, almost goes outside, but keeps it in. It's like having some trouble keeping hold of the ball as they let it go out. North Home side will take possession. North Olmstead taking it down to Westlake's court. Olmstead balls. Olmstead balls. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this just in. Not Westlake's not facing North Olmstead, but Olmstead falls. <laughs> oh boy. What a night for commentary. Westlake misses their three point, and North Olmstead takes it into the court. Number 12, number 12, tempting to make the basket. Did I? Hits the rim, but misses. Got a foul on Olmstead Falls. Not North Olmstead, but Olmstead Falls. The number 33 from West Texas. Passing into 21. from both teams. Now let's take this opportunity to thank some of our sponsors, Skyzone of Westlake and Hungry Howdy's, who make this shoot possible for us. North Homestead passing around the Westlake court. North, I said North Homestead again. <laughs> Olmstead falls. Missing the three point though. Go ahead. Number three, passing it to number 32. 33. Number 33, passing it back to number 21, who's at the floor, 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 who's And number 20 almost is also has the ball. Passing into number 25, who oh, yeah. just hands the ball. Current score 21 13. Upset falls up. Now it's looks like almost 10 points behind. All right, 22 for Westlake, missing the shot. But, oh, Westlake's not going to keep it in. Westlake only 10 points behind. I'm excited to see how Westlake makes a comeback in the game. Number 20, taking down to Westlake's court. Let's see what they do. Keeping it on the outside, but going in. Nope. Number 12, taking the three point. Misses. Oh, they got a three throw, but it's that. Got another rebound and actually took that shot. They made it. It's like. And with about four minutes left in the second quarter, Westlake behind the second time going. By Umsla Charles. Of 
Right here with a missed three point for Westlake. Number 40, going for the shot. Goes to the net, but misses. This one from Ted takes back to the court with number 20. Number 20 for Ted falls, passes the ball to number 13, and passes the ball to number 3. And then number 20 for Ted falls, takes the ball. Number 12 going in, passes it up to the outside. And number 13 is going to take three points. <laughs> Westlake, it holds us 13 points behind this game now. Alright, again, just a quick shout out to number 100 Seven, Westlake and Henry Hours for making this possible for us today. Westlake coming back in from the timeout. Half of the points of Olmstead Falls. We're gonna have to tr really, tr we're gonna have to try to get, we're gonna have to really try to tie it back up. Oh boy. Number four, you can you make the shot the misses barely. North Olmstead letting it go out of bounds, so Westlake's gonna take the ball. Number 33 is going to take it in for Westlake. See where it goes from there. Back out to number 12. And she's going to take it in, take a shot, misses. And Westlake loses control of the ball. Oh, no dope head having a pretty free net. Still misses it though. Shot number three, I believe, makes the rebound. Current score 28 and 16. Olmstead falls up. Oh, oh. Looks like North Olmstead slapped it out of number 33's hand. Olmstead falls, slapped it out of number 33's hand. But Westlake did not touch it, so Westlake's gonna, gonna take it back in. Number 22 with the three point, misses. Westlake, oh, unfortunately goes out of bounds. Oh, what's your name, Scott? Is it the Bulldog? All right, I can remember that. The Bulldogs immediately going for a three point. But Westlake's going to take control of the ball. Let's take it back. That's number 20. Pass of 21. Make a shot. Number 20 for the Bulldogs. Passing it. Oh, they're going to pass it around the tie. Uh, number 25, I believe, makes a three point. out on North Olmstead who tried to take possession of the ball. Was I nope, that was North Olmstead. That was the Bulldogs taking out of bounds. Quick substitution from the Bulldogs. 
Number 22 for number 33. Oh, and Westlake tried to get it back, but accidentally sent it out of bounds. Now number 20 is going to be passing it in for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs calling timeout as the score is 31 18. Bulldogs are up. <laughs> I did that all the time during the uh, junior varsity. <laughs> Bulldogs, Bulldogs, Bulldogs. Hold up, hold on, hold on. One minute left on the clock as we go and we finish up the second quarter. North, the Bulldogs and the ball. Oh, but the Lady Demons steal it. Sorry for my poor camera work. Oh, Bulldogs take it right back though. Number 20 attempting that three point shot but missing it. And number 22 for Westlake. Ooh. It was a foul for Westlake. I don't say you're going to take the ball. Uh, <laughs> Oh, except Paul's going to take the ball. <laughs> I am crying here, folks. Really crying. <laughs> Looking to make up those points. Number 14 going in for the shot, misses, and the Bulldogs will recover. Misses that Hail Mary. As we, and the second quarter, 31 18 Bulldogs. Varsity basketball game <laughs> versus the Onset Fall Bulldogs coming in. And Onset Fall starts out with the ball. The Bulldogs leading 31 to 18. Westlake's gonna wanna make up a lot of points in these last two quarters. <laughs> An unfortunate under the legs for North Holmes. Bulldogs <laughs> as Westlake gets to reclaim the ball. And Westlake number 21, Kate Pavlonis has the ball. Has it in the 40. Taking a spill as the Bulldogs recover the ball and head toward Westlake's court. Foul is called. And number 25, shoot and Looks like a traveling call on a play for North Hill. The Bulldogs. Number 12 is going to pass it in to number 
three point. Number 22, who had the ball missed at the three point line. Thompson misses the shot as Wesley tries to recover, but he goes out on Wesley. All right, oh. The ball dies, you gotta take it in. Number 25 passing it in. The 21 and 25 is gonna reclaim it and try to go for a point. Misses as 40 for the Lady Demons recovers the ball. Looks like trying to recover the ball, but it still goes out of them. Number 20 taking it down to Westlake's court. Westlake. The Bulldogs in a comfortable lead. Now what just happened was 25 attempted to throw the ball to one of her teammates when I believe number 19 for Westlake was intercepted. The Bulldogs keeping around the outside, waiting for their opportunity to make a shot. Oh, but Westlake's gonna take the ball from them before that happens. Shoot. As the first point of the second half of the game. Making it 31 to 20, Bulldogs up. 22 taking three point, misses as the Bulldogs go for a recovery and they make it. Wesley going for quick, but they miss. And the foul's called. Bulldogs take it in, make a shot. Do believe that was a foul that got called on Wesley. Um, Bulldogs are gonna have number 13, I number believe. 13, Chloe taking a free for for Umsid Falls. About to make a free throw for Umsid Falls. Number 21 is the one who made the foul for Wesley. Those will start as the first one is unsuccessful for the Bulldogs. A little substitution for Wesley. 32 is coming in for number 40. Second throw is unsuccessful. Wesley like taking it back down to North the Bulldogs court. <laughs> Lady Demons passing around the outside. Number 22 making a break for it, and 32 making a break for it. They're gonna make a shot, and they're gonna make it. Bulldogs will also make their shot on Wesley. Score is now 35-22. Wesley has made some ground, but the Bulldogs are keeping it up. So Jared, how do you think the outcome of the game will eventually be like in the end? With Wesley at 22 behind. 
it really depends if Leslie can really bring it back. If they, I'm sure they can successfully make up those 13 points they're down. But right now, Westlake is taking some free throw points. Number 22 for Westlake, or the Lady Demons, made the first shot. As a quick substitution for both the Bulldogs and the Lady Demons come in. The second shot. Makes it. Number could not see for the Bulldogs. Makes it up. Current score 37 24. Bulldogs are still up. Thirty-two, making a break for it. Passes it back out. Three point. I do believe foul was called. It was indeed a foul. Number twenty is going to pass it into number three for the Bulldogs, taking it down to the Lady Demons court. Twenty, making a shot. The Bulldogs misses. Her foul was called. And number twenty, Blair Kelly for the Bulldogs he makes the free throw and. Bulldogs miss both shots, but they come in and almost make, they made two shots and still contesting the ball on Westlake's court. Three point is not successful, but it looks like Westlake has taken control of the ball. Lady Demons have it in the, the Bulldogs' court. And they're just passing around right now, looking for an opening. Uh, number 14 is going to go in and make the shot. Score is now 37 26. Bulldogs are up, but the Lady Demons have made up at two points. Or no. 11 points down as they take control of the ball again. Lady Demons, number 14, almost gets tripped up. Misses shot. Some rebounds, but. Bulldogs passing it. Throw. Failed three throw by, no, not a three throw, three point shot by number three on Lady Demons. With them upset, taking back control of the ball after it. Twenty going in. Unsuccessful block by number 22 from Westlake. Number 14 oh, will not be making that shot, but the Westlake will recover. 
and make the shot. Number 21, Lady Demons. Take the shot, bring it up 39 to 28. Still a steady lead for the Bulldogs. Lady Demons passing around. Number Bulldogs courts and makes the shot. Number 21 again. Now with both of them in the third quarter, the Lady Demons are behind 12 points. Number 21 it seems to be getting quite defensive, not even letting the player enter the three point ring. Looks like Westlake's general strategy has begun more offensive defense. Oh, nice. Except the Bulldogs looking pretty open as they make their three point shot. Fourth and final quarter, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Could be wrong. Been wrong before. And how do you feel about this point deficit Westlake has with Honestly, the Bulldogs? I like being optimistic, but I don't think Westlake has a chance on winning this game. Well, we're going to have to wait and find out if the Bulldogs will keep their lead and win the game, or if Westlake will bring it back. The ball is now currently in Bulldog possession. Westlake going pretty offensive on defense. I'd like to take this opportunity to, to thank some of our sponsors who make this who make this shoot this best ball shoot possible. So thank you to Andre Howie and and Skies on Westlake. And a foul on Westlake was number five. I'm not seeing number five, but that's what I heard. Anyway, free throws. Number 20 for the Bulldogs makes her first three throw shot. Second shot is also successful, making it 47 to 30. Bulldogs up. Number 12 going in for the Lady Demons. Will not recover the ball. Again, Lady Demons keeping the Bulldogs away from the net. See how it works out for them. However, there are some open players, as you just saw, number 12, wide open. And number 25, Rump to Fox, Heather number 20. Who is then best position, number 20. <laughs> Bulldogs have made quite the lead on the Lady Demons. Quite the lead indeed. Number 
23 at the Lady Demons, unsuccessful trying to get past the defense of the Bulldogs. Again, the Bulldogs staying far back, and Westlake tries to advance on them, leaving some players open. Looks like North Olmstead had a traveling foul. Westlake trying to get the ball back. But recovers the ball. Oh, Lady Demons will not be making a score. Not be scoring. for that aggressive play. Bringing Westlake 32, but still has to go up against the Bulldogs. Solid 50 points. Plus, like defense again being quite aggressive, leaving players open. Can't say that that strategy is really working out for them. It's like we're calling timeout. Plus, like definitely needs timeout to try and regroup. These 18 points lead by the Bulldogs. But back into the fourth quarter, Westlake down 18 points. We've seen some more aggressive plays from Westlake. Have you think they've been working out? Those aggressive plays have been working out for them. I think. I think the aggressive plays are not working out as they thought they would, but I think in future games they could definitely improve on them. See, number 22 for the Lady Demons, not making the points. Good play. Number 20 for the Bulldogs, passing it. Number 22, shoot and score. Much to the chagrin of Bulldogs recovering. Westlake's failed attempt at a shot. Looks like. Oh, they're homestead keeping control of the ball. As they pass around side. But they have made, not made the points. Number 20 for the Bulldogs have got fouls. The Demons, number 22, taking it in. Nope. Wait. 32. 32. I believe taking it, giving it to 21. And number 14, Abby Carrington, shoots and scores. Abby Carrington for the bucket. Takes Westlake down 
or takes Westlake into 13 points down now. Let's see if they can keep shrinking it or, well, the Bulldogs will not be increasing that right now. Since it falls, another foul. This Westlake takes it back. Demons making another point. Closing the deficit, but maybe a little bit too late as we approach two minutes in the last quarter. Number 12, passing it to number 25 with bull dive. And then turn past the number three. Bull box just oh. passing around the court. Number three, possession with the Bulldogs, passing it out. Possession has been with the Bulldogs quite a bit. Now, but Westlake will take it back. Number 25 recovering the ball. Bring it down to the Bulldogs court. An aggressive break by number 21. Unable to recover before the foul is called. Foul for Westlake. Bulldogs will now have the ball. Westlake missing. Oh, Westlake recovered, number 32. And aggressive. That's the 21 again. Looks like putting it all into number 21. One of their senior lady ladies. And the Bulldogs calling a timeout with less than 30 seconds left in the game. We are now. In the fourth quarter, 53 to 38. I don't mean spoil the outcome, but I think we know who's going to win here. We probably do. A 15-point de deficit by Westlake. And the ball has lately been mostly in Westlake's court. So, not looking too good. Bulldogs number five passing it in. Let's come back from the timeout. Aggressively coming for that ball, but Bulldogs will come out on top of all that fumbling around. All right, now we got 10, 9, 8, 7. 7.5 seconds left in the game. I was called Westlake now has to take it from about half court. All right, two and final countdown here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Looks like a 30 point final. That final push, aggressive push by number 21 was unsuccessful as the Wady Demons lose. 38 to 56. They erased the scoreboard, so I cannot tell you. <laughs> Fortunately, it's been an unsuccessful night for the Lady Demons. 
WHBS with the ladies varsity, ladies basketball varsity game. I've been your cameraman and uh, kind of decent announcer, Jared. And I've been your even worse announcer, Katie Fogarty. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you for watching.